What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Fox Den. Welcome back to the vlog. And today we have my guy Alex coming over with his G35 sedan. You guys saw it in the other video where we installed the carbon fiber uh, trunk spoiler. Now this time we are installing the TBW Performance rear diffuser just like the one I have on the G. Uh, he's gonna have the same one. We are going to install it, give you guys some tips on what to do. And yeah, it'll be an awesome video. We have my guy Ryan coming over. You guys saw him uh, on the first ever Fox Pack cruise uh, with his silver G37 with the black hood. Uh, so we got him coming over to hang out and yeah, it'll be a bunch of fun. Um, not so much if uh, the studs break on the diffuser because that happened with mine. But now that I've done it on mine, it's actually really not that bad. I found the right drill, but to drill them out and the, the diffuser actually does come with a little uh, pieces to uh, be able to handle that so that should make it much easier but yeah we're gonna install it and it'll be a fun video just hang out and uh, I'm gonna tell you guys right now uh, if you do not follow me on Instagram I am keeping the G37 and I'm so excited what's to come next on it guys we are not done with it yet lots more to come uh, you'll guys find out what it is in the next video just know we're not boosting it because there's too many miles on it it just it's gonna blow up if I boost it but we're gonna do the next best thing and you guys will find out what it is next video it's gonna be awesome you don't want to miss it so yeah we'll see you guys when Alex gets here and when Ryan gets here so let's do it all right my guy Alex is here in the garage and go figure TBW what is their problem you didn't include the uh, I don't even know what they're called, the extra pieces that go in the bottom of there so you can draw out the, the bolts that will break off every time and you know that so you can get the bolts in wherever they are, they're in my pocket but so now on a Sunday we have to go run to the hardware store and grab some nuts, probably some new bolts too to get this in but guys this is what the TBW Performance rear diffuser looks like all you people with your eBay plastic pieces of crap this is a real diffuser, you can see it's got a real nice finish on there, a nice paint job and nice aluminum so that's gonna last a very long time so uh, we're gonna head to the hardware store in my G and we'll catch you guys then so there is a stack diffuser we got it out and as per usual the studs broke or the bolts rather same thing I did on mine we just cut out the uh, plastic and just left whatever uh, is under there under there you're not gonna see it because it's under the new diffuser and the heaps of rust on these G's here in the Chicago area it is literally like so we had to run out the hardware store as you saw and we got some bolts we had to get longer bolts because on my G I noticed that they're just barely long enough so just to be safe we did get new bolts and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to drill out the old bolts isn't too big of a deal as long as you got a, a good drill bit hopefully this is good I use it on mine so and we'll get back to you guys so basically what happened it's missing pieces so that's why we had to go out and buy new bolts so on to the next step. All right, so we got mostly uh, we mostly drilled through the holes, but we have to grab another drill bit. So we'll be back when we do that. We did test fit it; it's gonna fit perfect. It looks awesome. So we'll get back to you guys once we uh, get that new drill bit. Drill these out. It's been a real pain in the ass. My drill bits have failed me today. My drills failed me today. But we are certainly making progress. We did get the old diffuser out, as you saw. So we we'll back. I'm gonna get those drill bits and we'll get this finished up. Gotta get through that and then that's the main thing. Yeah. All 
All right, you got those uh, screws? Yeah. I'm gonna check, make sure they fit. We finally got the holes drilled out, so now we're gonna try and fit the diffuser, as you will see right here. Side, Cause I can actually. Can you, you can just grab me another one out yeah. of the bag. We'll find it. They're all the same. You know it's funny. I purposely picked out same size washers that this thing came with and, yeah. they're, and they're too small <laughs> really yeah i mean they'll, they'll work but they need to be bigger all right so right there yeah just a matter of getting my damn hands in there again You uh, kind of push up on it, like right here. Oh, dude, beautiful. That's exactly what I was looking for. Come on, start threading. Catch the threads. Why you gotta be like that? Ah, now we're talking. So, tighten that up. Man, these washers, dude. You can, you can probably let go of it. It's, oh. I don't know what this thing's doing. These washers are just really biting us in the ass here. I don't know why the thing moved over. Oh, my back. That kills my back. It's not spinning now, so let's see. And it's on. You see, I wasn't kidding that it's a pain in the ass to get those in there. So we got those bolts in. Needed bigger washers for sure, but they are in. And it's a pain because you have to get your hands up in there. Because obviously, I don't care what G you have, how old it is, how low miles it is. You untighten these, they're going to break off. That's all there is to it. See, as you saw, we drilled them out. You have to get your fingers up in there to get your nut up there. Which is not too bad on this side. But this side absolutely just awful and then you got to get your wrench in there to hold the nut in place but we did it so now we're gonna drill some extra holes for where these clips go and we're gonna put some new clips in there because these are pretty knackered and that'll be the last step one then we're done believe it or not all right guys that is it the diffuser is installed just know if you do this yourself you better have some small hands you can see exactly like mine looks fantastic very good alignment we do need to fix something uh, later down the road here but other than that perfect fitment um, just a lot of headache and as I said already if you do this yourself be prepared to drill out some bolts. 
as I said, I don't care how many miles your G has, how new it is, they're gonna break. They're really crappy, weak bolts, and that's just all there is to it. And I know you guys want cinematic footage, so let's get you that right now. That is it guys, it is on. Totally worth the effort, totally worth, you know, spending the extra money on a diffuser. Like I said in the uh, beginning of the video, uh, it's not some plastic piece of junk. Dude, changes the whole look of the car, especially when you do get burnt tips with it, um, which my guy Alex is planning on doing. And he's got lots of things coming to this car. And next, we have something really cool that you guys are gonna like uh, when we meet up with him next. And uh, that's going to be a banger, so you definitely want to stick around for that. And uh, obviously, shout out to my guy, Alex, uh, for allowing me to do the video on this. And uh, his Instagram is right here. So that's going to wrap up today's video, you guys. Um, I'm sure there's more in-depth tutorials on how to install this. I honestly haven't looked. Um, as usual, probably did something wrong in my videos, so don't just follow them as a tutorial if you don't have to. There's usually much better videos. It's just more documenting the builds and all that stuff. That's going to wrap up today's video, you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at SilverFoxG37. Make sure you follow my guy Alex right here, and uh, make sure you subscribe, join the Fox Pack today, and hit the bell notification to be notified when we do something stupid. Follow Racing Club at Silver Fox Racing Group. Remember, life's too short to stay stock. It's only legal if you get caught. Stay foxy. Ooh.